to part two of the roof tutorial on roof framer. Framing member in roof rafters. We've got some trimmers for the roof light. We've got a collar in a roof collar. It's a tie. Uh, in this case, the ridge board is a steel. And that's you. So that last framing member was turned into the roof fascia, i.e. the barge board. And that's another view of that. So this is the cold roof. We brought the ties up a bit higher so that they have the option of converting that into a warm roof later and having a, at least a storage space. You don't bang your head um, and you can get in there and, and so on. So how do we do that? So you recall we started off with the roof, very basic roof, and this fantastic tool is called the Roof Framer, and so it's here. Right click or go through the model menu and you want Roof Framer. Now, yes we want rafters, and you can create rafters and you can put them in your class. Roof Rafters, okay, object attributes, class style, class style, class style, texture, class style. So we want those, um, we'll have a rafter size of uh, 50 by 225, minimum spacing 900. Set the rafters to the top of the roof object, to the bottom of the roof object component. In this case, we'll do it to the, the top of the roof object component. Match rafters across ridges and hips, that's nice. Maximum spacing 3. Well, we want that to be the same. Okay, collars. Create collars. I want that in roof collars. There they are. And this one, I want to be 50 by 100. Okay, so I've got rafters at 50 by 225, or collars at 50 by 100, spacing of the third rafter, location on the left, um, object attributes again by class, that's all fine. So that's going to be lovely. Plates, look, you can add plates if you want. Um, Perlins, not here, but they work beautifully, and I put those into a class, uh, something like roof structure, timber. Separate all of these elements. SE, structural engineer, Perlin. Perlin size, we don't want it like that. We want it something like um, 75 by maybe 65 by 2 by 215. It's probably a bit big. Uh, number of Perlins, 1. Elevation of first pearl in. This is a little bit tricky. Uh, we'll put something like that in. In fact, you have to really know the, the, the gradient. You, you, you actually need to work out in, in, in trigonometrically where that where that first pearl is supposed to go. Number of pearl ins, one. Distance between pearl ins doesn't matter because uh, we've only got one. Rotate pearl ins to the roof slope, yes. Pearl ins start at the lower end of the rafter. The purlin position is at the bottom of the rafter, correct. Purlin start at the lower end of the rafter, it depends which, from which end you're measuring, okay. Ridges, yes you can put in ridges, I'm not going to bother here. Headers between around your openings and hips and valleys. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll put in hips and valleys um, to, to, to in, line with the, in line with the rafters, top of the roof component. Hips and valleys, again, um, um, 50 by 225, and that can go into something like roof structure timber. So it, it, uh, there we are, roof structure timber. We're going to have the hips, we're going to have the ridges. No, we're not going to have, oh, well, we can have ridges, put that in the same place. So roof structure timber, there it is, and that's fine. We're going to have purlins in structural purlin. Uh, we're going to have plate, no, we're not having plates, we're having collars in collar, and we're having rafters in rafter. And it does it. Why can't I see anything? So turn off your roof main class, put on your roof uh, structure, and your roof collar. That's it, it's off the roof rafters. And there we go. And there it is. Absolutely brilliant. What a brilliant tool. Gives me the roof framing. So when you want to come and turn the, 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 the solid roof on, it behaves a little bit oddly, this, but anyway, it should, it should show up. There it is. Just got a just a little neck to that. So here's one I prepared earlier. Oh, quite a big, 
quite a big building actually in the Ukraine, in uh, a town by the Azmov Sea um, competition project. So we, we put in a we put in a, an onion dome, but we don't need that one. And so that's the that's the roof in roof main, and um, again turn off roof main, and we'll see the we'll see the structure underneath. There it is. So there is the roof structure. Of course, you need to uh, you need your internal partitions to follow the pitch of the roof. These trusses are in class. Cool. This structure is a truss. So it gets a little bit fiddly in 3D getting your partitions to behave. Otherwise they'll stick out through the roof and you'll, and you'll see them. But you know it's just a wall. So you know it's got it's got control points. Yeah. So thanks for watching.